Uh, what one of the other um, cool things about the early, which we probably will never see again, right? We probably won't see a Breeders' Crown at all different tracks in the same year. No, I, don't know. I think I think it's probably good, you know, yes, uh, yes. to have it all at one event, whether yeah. it's one night, two nights, three nights, however we try to, yeah. you know, yeah. I, I'm sure that we'll figure out what the best kind of format is, but, you know, it, it was the start of it to have a British Crown at all different racetracks, yeah. one at each, mm -hmm. which you either got to do all or none, yeah. right? All of them at one track or all, like, one event at each yeah. separate track because maybe tracks can afford it that way, but... Uh, you know, one of them, the three year old pace went up to Northlands in Edmonton. Yes. Okay. So, so that I've been to Calgary and that was way out yeah. west. <laughs> and then apparently Edmonton is further to north. north. Yeah. North 200. Yeah. yeah. So like how just have you, had you guys been there before? Were there stakes races out there? Ronnie, yeah. they, they have stake races, but ima imagine you live in Edmonton and they say are breeders crown horses are coming to town. I mean, even if it was only one race, they'd be so excited about that because they don't see those kind of horses. No. They see them on television, but to have them horses come to your track, home track and race, I mean, I don't think they could be any, any more excited for a fan, really, that's into horses. And that's that's an age old story. When I was a kid, they used to have the BC Crookshanks Memorial Home, and they would bring down horses from here, like uh, you know, Larry won it with, yeah. with, with White Columbia one year, and uh, they would, would bring horses from Quebec. Mm -hmm. In those days, Montreal was too, or Toronto was a lot more shipping, but they'd bring horses from there in New York, they'd fly them in from New York. That was a big to-do. Big deal, right? Big, yeah. Two miles of traffic, like down, it was a single road just back down, way down to Phil's restaurant, two miles away. Be packed, be backed up. But that went on every year after Old Home Week, and it yeah. was a big, big thing. And Old Home Week, there's a perfect thing too, right? Oh, yeah, I mean, Old Home Week uh, up there is, is probably yeah. one of the best races. It is. I mean, I've yeah. seen it the first time this year. You All the years? Yes. This was the first, first time. time. I've never drove in it, but that first time I've seen it, and what a show they put on. I mean, uh, I take my hats off to them. They, yeah. they put on a show. Every year, and I mean, yes. just the whole town embraces it. Yes. I was up there in 2017, okay. uh, and yeah, I mean, it was just, fortunately it rained. Yeah. Um, you know, so it was. They still ran the race at midnight, but yeah. you know, I, the crowd, the crowd was dead up until about eleven thirty. Yeah. Then right. all of a sudden, everybody just showed up. Like, yes. like they all knew. Like, okay, we're yeah. gonna kind of deal with this rain, yeah. and then we're gonna go out there for the rain for thirty minutes. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it, it, it was uh, it was pretty cool. I, I was there for the first one. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 Now, did it go over as good? It must have. Oh yeah, been always, repeated. always, even because horses from outside yeah. and drivers from outside yeah. all come. Everybody wants to come and and they want to see the hometown guys win. The town but they want to see too. them. Yes, like exactly. like the, and the town knows yes. about the horse racing. Like mm -hmm. you go to the restaurant and you know people are I mean people are generally nice in Canada, so they ask you, hey, what are you doing? Where are yeah. you from? You yeah. know, because they obviously. 90% of the people are tourists yeah. who are going to be there yeah. during all the oh, home yeah. week. So they're trying to, I mean, they're doing their job trying to find out people, but mm -hmm. it was nice. Like, oh, yeah, I'm here for horse racing. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, we love Charlottetown and stuff like that. So yeah. Edmonton, I mean, the track, uh, obviously, they built now the Century Mile. Yes. And they have Century Downs, which is yes. in Calgary. And hopefully, you know, I don't know the situ. I mean, I'm sure Canadian, you guys kind of have some sort of connection with them, right? COSA mm -hmm. and Ed. So, yeah. Hopefully they can get some horse population up there. I know Calgary's big for rodeo and, yeah. and things like that. So the horses, everybody just shipped out there for the weekend, right? You were saying? Well, it was there was not just that race. They had the Fraser Memorial was here in, in BC, right? Yeah. Okay. They had they had which water. is another eight thousand meters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> further. Yeah. Further. Seven hundred fifty miles. Too far to yeah. walk. Yeah. Too far yeah. to walk. Yeah, anyway. over the mountain. So when we went out there that year. Troublemakers race was Sunday on Saturday was the Cam Cam Fellow race. Cam Fra no, is well, it, Cam Fraser. Yeah, is it was that there? I mean, there was no, one that, 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 that would be in uh, BC. Well, anyway, Cam there was Fraser. an aged bunch yeah. of horses there. I, I can't think of the name of them. Then Perfect Goat and that bunch was there. Division Street uh, Energy Burner won it. Yes, see, Tommy won it with Tommy Merriman won it. Then they went out west. Then they go from there out to what do you call it? To, to BC to BC to the Fraser, which. Uh, so then that was Saturday, and then Sunday was the, the Breeders' Crown. The Breeders' Crown, yeah. And it was two big days. I mean, both days were humongous. I mean, the crowds and stuff were there. I mean, do, uh, as, as uh, drivers, do you like 
all when it's oh, a, yeah. when it's a lot oh, yeah. when it's a big yeah. pomp and circumstance yeah. even you don't hear them you still when you post braid and you see them out there yeah. i mean that's that gets the adrenaline going and even just the event surrounding before afterwards yeah. like yeah. you know i'm sure there was receptions and things yeah. like that oh big time there yeah. yes it was funny when we were out there there was it was a big field there was 11 horses or something that race right so everybody's supposed to be there we were like Friday night and we raced Saturday. So Saturday night before the night before the race they're gonna have this reception. And we had a little bit of finger food thing and you know, introducing all the drivers. Well, Sonny Dancer wasn't there yet. He took the train out. He took the train out <laughs> six days. What? He, d he didn't like to fly, did he? No. Yeah, yeah. He t anyway, he's up he's he's, he's racing uh, why did it take six days? He's racing <laughs> Walton Hanover. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he took his time. I guess just took his time. Okay, all right. So whatever it was, three days out, three days back, whatever. But anyway, he's not there. So we're down in the in the bar waiting for them to call us upstairs. They got this convention room up there and stuff. So we're waiting for Sonny. So they're coming. Oh, we can't do it without Sonny. Bro. There was a guy there. He was at the bar. Just a guy who was a working guy. Come here, buddy. Just can you Sonny? You want some free booze? He goes, yeah. Come with me. All you have to do. You sit by me. You're a destroyer. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> sit by me, and when they call Sunday dance, you go out and get your thing and say thank you. That's all you have to do. So we can get out of here and go have a party somewhere else. So anyway, he's up there. He's got. A, he's a construction guy. He's got his old boots on. His old steel on. Some man on him. So anyway, Mickey goes. You're not going to do this. I say, what are we going to do? They're going to make us sit here all freaking night until Sunny's not coming. He's not going to be here until tomorrow. So anyway. The, the guy's sitting there, so they call us, like, go ahead, buddy, Sonny Dancer. So he says, oh, the driver, Walton Dancer, Walton Hanover, you don't know nothing about Walton Hanover. Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, go up, just get your trophy, come on back down. So anyway, <laughs> and anybody that knew Sonny Dancer, he was always dressed to the <laughs> ninth, yeah. always just... Not a construction booth? <laughs> no, no, no construction So booth. they had the picture in the paper, all the drivers, right? Oh, no, do we have that? we got to find that picture. <laughs> So here's this little old guy sitting there, but he got the free booze. He was happy. And nobody knew, like, or they just didn't know. I mean, I nobody guess nobody there knew. Nobody there knew. Yes, they knew okay. us, but we did. I mean, all of us guys. We, we so everybody's just laughing yeah. that this guy's we getting. We gotta his... get this over with. Here. <laughs> so uh, Sunday, I mean, do, do you like? Do you guys like uh, afternoon racing versus night racing? It doesn't matter. I told me a long time ago, standard bread racing is two things: mile, night. Okay. Right? Yeah. I, I do. I do. The only like place it. Sunday afternoon was really always a big hit was Richelieu Park in Montreal. I mean, they they used to fill the place Sunday afternoon. Everybody went to church and then come to the races. Okay. And, okay. and that was the first time I'd ever seen all the women come in with the big oh, hats yeah. and, and the men with their suits and ties. And I used to think, and I was just a kid, I used to think, my God, that's really nice that they dress up to go yeah. to the race. And, some guy said, one of the old guys said to me, listen, idiot, they just coming from church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this this one, because Edmonton's two or three hours uh, in the mountain time zone, I'm sure, so they probably wanted it afternoon to, so that it was Sunday I evening. Don't think, I think they raced all that Saturday, Sunday afternoons there. Oh, they just general, yeah. so then yeah. just happened to be whatever time slot uh, on ESPN? I think so, because the, the Philly race was at night. Yeah, they probably did. I mean, it was, yeah, five out there would be eight here, right? Yeah, so, or seven. Right? Two yeah, I think it was two, two Deadman and three, three to BC. So, yeah, uh, Troublemaker was he? Did you drive him his whole two-year-old season, three-year-old season? When did you jump on him? I drove him once as a two-year-old. Yeah. And I drove him as a three-year-old the first few starts, and then I, I picked True Tonal Bell. Okay. And he broke down before he never got to. He had a scratch at the middle of his pace, so then Bruce drove him, I think, most of the year. Um, for a month or two after that, and then the, the pre de in Montreal, Buddy Gilmore drove him, and he finished fifth. He didn't make the final, and but Buddy had on the road again, who wasn't okay. responsible to that race. He was in that race, yeah, that, that year. And then the next race was the Dancer, and they needed a driver, and I needed to drive. Okay. So they called me and asked me to drive. So. Listen to the crowd as they start to get into it. This is for the Breeders' Crown. A quarter of a million dollars going to the winner. All told, over a half a million dollars, the richest race ever in Canada. And you've got it here on the Breeders' Crown on ESPN. Our track announcer, Larry Ross, will call it as we'll see which one can come home with the big race today. Here's Larry Ross. I would think uh, it would be an understatement to say uh, the track record for three-year-olds, uh, Colts of 157 of one, will fall in this race. It's a question as to whether they can go in 54 with these weather conditions, but we will soon find out. They're entering the backstretch, and we're all set to go. Richest race in Canada. And they're on the pace.
racing in the Breeders' Crown. And as they uh, come away from the outside, Butler BG moving out, uh, guts uh, box side of the rail, Walton Hanover as they head uh, to the far turn. Coming around the far turn, Guts drives on to take the lead as they round the turn. Butler BG from the outside, Walton Hanover down on the inside. Uh, then it's uh, King Tanner alongside the rail. On the road again from the outside, moving up as they uh, swing around the turn and coming by the quarter mile. First quarter, 27 and 2 as they come down past the grandstand and heading to the clubhouse turn. Guts is the leader in setting the pace. Walton Hanover is second. On the road again is looked up to be third from the outside. Butler BG is fourth on the rail. Then it's Troublemaker from the outside. King Connor alongside the rail. Present laughter from the outside. Armour Cadet as they swing around the clubhouse turn. They're coming up on the half mile. And it's Guts with the lead as they head uh, into the back stretch. Then on the road again from the outside next. The half and 57 seconds as they head to the back stretch. And as they head down the back stretch, the arch rivals, Guts on the inside, on the road again from the outside. Then Walton Hanover alongside the rail. Then from the outside, Troublemaker as they head on down the back stretch. Now it's on the road again, gaining the lead. As they head to the far turn, on the road again is the leader. As they near the three-quarter mile, that's Troublemaker moving up from the outside as they head around the turn. Three quarters, a minute, 26 seconds. And coming around the turn, on the road again, has the lead. Troublemaker from the outside, then Guts down on the inside. Armour Cadet from the far outside. As they come around the turn to the head of the stretch and they're driving toward the finish, Troublemaker has taken the lead from the outside. Coming down the stretch toward the finish. As they come down the stretch, Troublemaker is the leader now as they come down the stretch, then Guts from the outside. And coming to the finish, Troublemaker in front at the finish. Uh, then it's uh, Guts second, and here they are. Time of one minute, 55 and two, and that will break the uh, three-year-old record for Colts. Uh, as we mentioned, 157 and one was the quickest time previously. 